Hey everybody, welcome to another video review by CigarFellas.com. My name is Brent and I'm going to be doing your reviews today. Today, I'm going to be doing the uh, Ela Vera Sun Grown Reserve. This is the Robusto. Um, this cigar is kind of throwing me for a loop. It's got kind of a dark wrapper. And the smells that come out of this are so sweet. It's just... It's really a very, very pleasant smell, and um, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to smoke it and see exactly what uh, kind of flavors I'm going to get out of this. Um, the wrapper itself smells pretty good. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a little oily, a little toothy, um, real dark, um, real, real firm. Um, you can tell that these uh, rollers know what they're doing. There's not a lot of sponge to it at all. The, um, like I said, it's, it's very sweet. The mouthfeel feels real smooth. Um, getting a little bit of, um, a little bit of earth off the, uh, off the wrapper itself. Which is really good. I, I do enjoy that. Um, today I am going to punch this cigar. Um, I'm kind of going through a, a phase where I'm trying to do different um, uh, cutting techniques. And uh, this week I happen to be on the punch kick. So, you know, we're just, we're just trying it. See how it works out for us. I mean, it's not for everybody, but uh, we definitely want to try it out. Um... I'm really looking forward to firing this thing up, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get this puppy uh, toasted up and uh, see what we get out of this original. And of course, my lighter decides to flip out a little bit on me. But again, I think it might be low on fluid, so let's use the soft flame. Note to self, right? I should always make sure that I charge my lighters before I uh, jump into a video. Initial retro hail on this was um, very uh, stimulating. It um, it wasn't like spice. It was just very tingly in my nose. Initial taste that I'm getting are um, earth tones. Um, Kind of leathery. Um, and that retro ale is just like lighting me up. I mean, it's just like, it's so stimulating. Uh, you know, for those of you that do retro ale and those of you that don't, I guess everybody's different. Some people like a retro ale that's real smooth, and I enjoy those. Uh, some people look for that wow factor, and uh, sometimes it's really nice to have that wow factor. It, um, it really, um, just really kind of tingles and sparkles. And uh, that's really the best way I can put it. There's no real flavor per se, but it is a way of, um, I don't know, drawing you in, drawing you into a cigar. And um, for me, I like that tingly, you know, not overly spicy, like, well, man, that was kind of harsh. It's not harsh. It's just very... You ever had Pop Rocks? <laughs> I mean, really, that's the best way that I can put it. It's kind of like little tiny little Pop Rocks going off in your nose. and uh, But there's no flavor to them. It's not like they're strawberry or cherry or grape Pop Rocks. Um, but that's really what it reminds me of. And um, obviously, I'm not afraid to drink a Coke at the same time either, which is uh, a very big positive, I suppose. The cigar, really, it is. It's very enjoyable so far. Uh, but 
Let me burn into this a little bit and we'll come back and, and we'll talk a little bit more about the flavors that I'm getting out of this uh, Olivera Sun Grown Reserve. Um, we'll be back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so, um, about halfway through this uh, Oliveros uh, Sun Grown Reserve, um, it, it's it's good. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. Um, it's um, the flavors in my throat um, right now are are kind of uh, earthy, a um, little bit of sweet. Um, the the cigar has. Um, The retrohale on this and the, the cigar itself, uh, the retrohale is definitely lightened up. It's not like Pop Rocks anymore. It's uh, it's very smooth. Um, it's very um, sweet. Um, that's definitely the thing that it adds to uh, uh, like a regular just a puff of the cigar. The puff itself... Um, is a lot of earth. Um, the taste that I still have in my mouth is um, earthy with a little bit of sweet, but I get more sweet if I do retrohale the cigar. Uh, the cigar is holding together extremely well. Um, I guess it's just about time to remove the lower band. Um, band came off very nice, which um, I can really appreciate a cigar that the band comes off nice on. Um, I've had some cigars recently that um, you know, they put so much glue or pectin on the uh, band that uh, it actually has a tendency sometimes to tear the wrapper. And I know we've all ran into that. And, and there's nothing worse than having a beautiful cigar that, you know, you've either spent a lot of money on or it's a high dollar stick and, and it tears, you know, because they're a little sloppy. And um, that's one thing I can say about this is that that band came up very nicely and, and I definitely appreciate it. Um, like I said, construction's good. The burn is good. Um, I wouldn't say it's razor sharp, but it's good. It's consistent. It's not real. It's just a little wavy. Nothing, no, nothing that would uh, you know detour me in the future from uh, uh, you know recommending this cigar. Um, it is. Uh, I'm getting a little. It's even getting a little more sweet. It's like the further down that I smoke, the more sweetness I'm getting. Um, and I can, I, I love that. I love a nice, sweet, grassy kind of flavor sometimes. And um, <clears throat> even though I'm not getting a lot of grass, it's still the earth and the sweet. Um, it's a very good combination. Um, I think um, Oliveros has uh, done a very good job with this blend. Um, my hat's off to the blenders. Um, this is a, a great Robusto, and um, I could definitely see myself smoking more of these in the future. Good amount of smoke. Um, the smoke's white. Um, it's it's um, it's uh, the aroma is pleasant. It's light. It's kind of sweet. Um, definitely, definitely a, a, a great smoking cigar. Um, something that I will definitely recommend to you. Um, it's, uh, it's more of, um, I think that, uh, with the literature that I've read on the cigar, um, they classify it as a full bodied cigar. Yeah, I, maybe I'm leaning more towards it's medium full. Um, I don't think it's quite the full fullness of you know some of the other cigars out there that are full bodied but uh it's definitely uh, higher on the medium scale um it's it's or a low a low full i guess you could say um you know but uh it's very enjoyable very very enjoyable um oliveros has really done like I said, a, a, a spectacular job on this. Uh, let me go ahead and get this thing down to a nub. We'll come back and we'll do some final notes on uh, this uh, Oliveros uh, Sun Grown Reserva.
everybody. So, um, we smoked a little bit more. Um, I actually had to relight this. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's that time of year here in Michigan, and my wife went out today and uh, bought some uh, flowers, so I actually had to go upstairs and help her unload the car. But, uh, um, more of the same now. It's, um, it's very good. The retro hail is getting a little stronger. Um, not as sweet as it was in the middle of the cigar. Um, it's not bad. Um, I'm just, you know, letting you know it's it's a little stronger. It's more um, know, earthy, tobacco-y kind of flavor. Um, taste in my mouth is still earth. Um, it's a little dry, but not not horrible. Um, I'm drinking a little bit of Diet Mountain Dew every once in a while just to kind of rehydrate my mouth. But uh, all in all, this, uh, this cigar, it, um, you can see the ash, it's burning well. It's definitely still a great stick. Um, uh, definitely going to have more of these in my future to add to my rotation and uh, things of that nature. But um, all in all, check them out. Oliveras, um, the uh, Sun Grown Reserva. And... Uh, like I said, this is the Robusto. It was good for me. I kind of like the Robustos in most cigars nowadays. So, until uh, next time, you can always check us out on the web at www.cigarfellas.com. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. And even on Twitter at cigarfellas. Until next time, I'm Brent. My friends call me Moose. And uh, we'll catch you all next time.